Did you know there are programming languages named with just one letter? I mean, we all know C, maybe R or D, but what about A or X or, hear me out, Omega? Let's explore the entire alphabet of programming languages from A to Z and even Greek. So starting with A, created back in 1988 by Arthur Whitney, inspired by APL. Then comes B, born in Bell Labs around 1969. It's basically C's older brother, made by Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie. C, obviously a legend, no explanation needed. D, released in 2001, designed to be like C++, but sane. E, a 1997 project focused on secure distributed computing. F, built for scientific work derived from Fortran 95. G, that's the graphical language used in LabVIEW. H, still unfinished, like my side projects folder. I, based on J, focusing on arrays. J, made by the same guy who made APL. Minimal, mathematical, and weirdly satisfying. K, another array language by Arthur Whitney. L, a 2012 open source project with its own compiler. M, Microsoft's abandoned project from around 2010. N, aimed at neural networks, C-like syntax. O, used in code golf competitions. P, Microsoft again for asynchronous state machines. Q, 2003, also from Whitney, super fast with data tables. R, the stats language we all love to hate. S, basically R's grandparent from Bell Labs in the 70s. T, a scheme dialect from 1982. U, a hobbyist's low-level language. V, modern, safe, simple, fast, still under development. W, designed for fast coding and clean syntax. X, for years, there was no plain X, only X Lang, X Sharp, and X++. But in 2025, someone finally decided to fix that and create a language literally called X. Y, an isolang inspired by false. Z, literally the last programming language you should ever use. So yeah, the entire alphabet's basically taken. So what if we switch alphabets? Let's see if the Greeks left us any free letters. Alpha, a database language designed by Edgar Codd himself back in 1971. Beta, co-created by Kristen Nygaard, one of the minds behind Simula. Gamma, born at Columbia University as an academic project. Delta, dynamic and VM-based, like Lua and JavaScript, had a minimalist cousin. Epsilon, a 1967 Algol 68 dialect by Andre Ershov. Zeta, tiny early stage imperative language version 0.1 and counting. Eta, a Haskell dialect that runs on the JVM Theta a statically typed functional language compiling to WebAssembly, clean and modern. IOTA, an esoteric minimalist language by Chris Barker. Kappa, a logic-based language used in molecular biology. Lambda, because of course there's a lambda, minimal and functional. Mu, a graphical app language from the early 2000s. Nu, Lisp-inspired, made by Tim Burks in 2007. Thy, likely created for an academic course, procedural and imperative. Omicron, a D-inspired toy language built just for compiler nerding. Pi, born in 2009, built around pattern matching concepts. Rho, dynamic and lightweight, inspired mainly by Python. Sigma, a C-like compiled language chasing GPU-powered performance. Tau, a logical AI language aiming to synthesize decentralized software. Wild stuff. Upsilon, an Esalong inspired by Lambda itself. Phi, scripting language for the Internet of Things. Chi, a modular C-style systems language that finally keeps things organized. Psi, a work-in-progress project by Felix Kweissner. Omega, pure functional language by Tim Sheard and his students. So yeah, if you ever plan to name your own language, forget single letters. Try other alphabets instead. Polish, Cyrillic, Kanji, whatever works. The future is multilingual. And hey, if you learned something new, drop a like and subscribe for more tech curiosities like this one.